Hey there berries, welcome to episode 115 of Unranked to Diamond as every single support. We have a Kaiser ED carry and we are running out of champions to play already. We're about two thirds of the way through the list. Samira Swain, Samira Seraphine on the bot lane. Not exactly sure. Usually Kaiser does well with a hard engage. Usually. And we've kind of got like a full dive team set up already. So I'm actually looking at maybe a Rao game. Or a Pantheon game. I think Kaiser can't do two. I think we have to do a Rao game. <laughs> it's a Rao game. Um, yeah, so the Rao ulti can interrupt Samira's ult. Pantheon was probably the only other good option here to follow up on like the hard engage that my team is going to want to do. But I feel like Kaiser's damage isn't enough early to really make the most out of the Pantheon. Like level 1, level 2 engage in particular. So yeah. Are we on 100% win rate with Rel? Um, I think so. But now we've cursed it. I've cursed this entire series now, so with with that center game onwards, so I think we might lose the one hundred percent. Only one week late with this message. Happy berryversary. Hey, Miss Waggy, thank you for the forty-three months. Much appreciated. Let's have a look at the Poro Fester stats and see what we're up against. Doesn't look too bad. I look forward to a really good game. Hey man, thank you for the team up through your sub and the really good pun. Uh, GP's got a lot of games. I'm happy about that. Our top laner should be decent. Enemy Kane, a lot of games on Kane, below 50% win rate. They, he is duo with the enemy AD carry. Um, so, yeah. I mean, my Kai's has got a decent win rate. My mid laner doesn't look that strong. So, I think we might have like a slight advantage on paper. Let's just hope they haven't got scissors. We all know how that ends up. I, st I still don't understand why Raul's E is lovable, level 1. Because you, you can't use it. <laughs> I almost feel like she should have... You know like how Yumi has W for free level 1? I almost feel like Rao should have that as well. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you can't use the ability unless you put a point in it. I don't know. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Does it make sense? No, no, no. Yes, no. Karma, Karma gets R, doesn't she? Yeah, for free. There are a few champions. Oh my god, I forgot Rel's taunts. How I feel right now, Realm. Rel can use E level 1. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about actually. I'm trolling my brain. What I said about Rel E, she can use it level 1. I'm just been. Well, she can't use it that well, but she can use it. My brain is just in empty thoughts head mode right now. So we're up against the Seraphine. Okay, this Seraphine is caught out like crazy. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why Seraphine went into like melee range there. A bit nuts, but okay.
Um, I was looking to rotate to mid, but my mid lane has pushed in quite a bit. Just go back and get some boots and stuff now. I'll still see if I can like maybe rotate to mid, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna walk down the middle of the two lanes. Top blade. Man, these games, the last couple of games, man, this that last one and now this one is getting Getting very toxic. Got one. Do you know Parfait said that Stumner Spell Tracker? It's new. Right, I'm going to try and get some... A little bit of vision in. Need to start using some of these relic shield charges. But like I still have flash, so like if one seraphine overextends again, we just jump that. I've got minion dematerializer, but I don't need to use it on this kind of minion. Or I could, mm, no, I don't need to. Like, if this wave was nearer and I wanted to shove it in quicker, then I would use Mini Dematerializer straight away. The Black Rose may have done this to me, but not to me. I'm gonna see if I can roam. Problem is the swain's a little bit too close to his turret. This is slowly pushing in towards us. On to the last hit, that. Just don't exactly know where Kane is right now. I'm a bit hesitant to just jump straight in here. It doesn't feel right, so I'm just gonna wait until this wave pushes in a little bit more. Don't forget the, the AD carry and the jungler or duo. So they will be trying to set something up down here, I think. I think we just wait until level five. Minion, minion dematerializer is good if you feel like you're not going to be able to walk up to a cannon minion without losing all your HP. So that would be like some of the tank supports if against double poke lanes. Okay, she's already used double E, I'm gonna go in. Okay, now she's used a W. Problem is my, my jungle is top, so if I commit to this and Kane shows up, we get no backup. We have a GP ulti, but that's basically it. Iridia and Swain. Iridia dead? Okay, we don't have GP ulti, ulti now. Look, we're 20 CS up. If I go in and we die, we lose such a big advantage over them right now. I'm happy chilling.
Almost got water. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to be able to catch up to that. I don't know why he popped oracles. Is it controlled in the brush? Nearly got Opti. Okay, this is good. Kaiser took an awful trade there. Maybe I can re-engage on them when Kaiser has an ulti. I'm just thinking here that because they're not pushing in the lane properly. They should be pushing this lane in way harder. I'm just trying to see if I can get Seraphine enabled here. Uh, Seraphine Kaiser enabled. This isn't good now. Kaiser flashed. Oh. Okay. My bad then. I thought we would have like, like an item, decent advice, an item advantage with the Kaiser coming back from base. I'm not 100% sure why we lost that fight because of the item advantage on Kaiser. Like if you look at Samira's items versus Kaiser's items. I, I don't know why we lost that, honestly. I survived the academy. Like, that's such a big item difference. This needs shoving in quickly. Big wave. I mean, still, the item difference is pretty damn big. It was like, what? Plus 20, 45. Plus 45 AD. Don't know if she had the crit or not at the time. Rengar's not getting off the mark here at all in terms of it's got no kills he did manage to pick up the herald though which is something mid i don't know if i can get here in time nice pigeon ult is there any point in me going on in here grand goes like right here kane should die they can kill them both I think if Azir wasn't so hesitant there to join up with me initially, because I knew Rengar was coming down the lane, then maybe Swain dies there as well. But the Azir still has it. I don't know if he had Ignite was a cooldown or not, but he had Ignite. Okay, well at least they get stuff in the end. It doesn't matter that Seraphine killed Azir. Okay. Harold onto mid turret. To, yes, that's good. That's good. I don't know why is this question mark pinging it. I think it's fine.
That sucks. Didn't realize they had a control at the back of the pit. Um, would like to see Rengar come down if possible. the gold of that. Kane's mid. I don't know if I want to engage in the game. I mean we got mythic advantage here bot lane but I mean we had item advantage bot lane before and we didn't win so like if we get the, the if Samir ends up on 4-0 then we are kind of screwed. Looking at mid again. Oh. Can maybe still get something here. People are coming up. Big double stun. Okay. Can we do like dragon or something off of that? Um. Okay. Stun the Samir under turret. Not submit, yeah. What? Why does Seraphine naughty? Oh, what? That was in range? Uh, this might be bad. Stun range was just outside for Kane. Look at the dragon now. Tough game. GP's doing it okay top. Rengar's finally got like a couple of kills. Swain seems to be doing better than the Azir in the 1v1, but at least Azir got first turret. It's quite a lot of extra gold. Swain's bot. Maybe we can go for something here? Swain's playing too far up. Feels like they could have more people down here. I'd rather break rules than people, but I can make exceptions. Bizzle should rail remount on cooldown. Um Depends if you're looking to do your W charge in. Oh, come on, Azir, man. Help me out, buddy. Got Ignite on him. Okay. Why doesn't anyone let me get charges? Okay. We're doing okay. Is there uh, might be in trouble, but he's got his ulti. What the? Hunt that look glitchy as hell. He's not gonna be make it out though. Ken can just. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he went that way though. He should have tried and made an attempt to to go this way, back towards his own turret. There was no way he was gonna make it out going that way. Seraphine Flash. Okay, that sucks. I got the kill. Whoa, 
and die to it. Oh no, he's dead. I'm not sure if I want this fight. Okay. Swin had some pigeon trouble though. Okay, that worked out a little better than I thought it would. Let me have the Reddick <laughs> the stacks. <laughs> Literally the most tilting thing as support, man. Reddick shield stacks. I wish they would invent something else for tank supports to get gold. It's the worst. Hey Sol and hey everyone that's just joined the Twitch stream. Hope you guys are doing alright. I've seen your last support tier list. Is Tarek really that good these days? Yeah, I was amazed at apparently like how strong he is right now. Um so yeah, if you're thinking about picking him up or playing him, then now's the time, I guess, before he he's probably gonna get nerfed at some point. So keep an eye on that. You love Rel and her kit, but I feel like she's not strong enough. I'd rather play Leona, which does everything Rel does but better. Yeah, I mean I agree. But then saying that I've got one hundred percent win rate so far on, on Rel, so I don't know. Maybe she's lo low-key amazing. Put some decent control around this area in the river. I don't like how far zero is here. I mean, there is a turret here for us. Which I think they've forgotten about. Tart didn't help too much though. Rangos finally popped his ulti to come down here. So both supports are dead. Kane is now dead. Swain still has his ulti running. Samira ulting again. Our team's getting really low health now. Ready yet? Okay, so it's four for three. Dragon is up. Can probably get the dragon. GP should be fine to do that. I'm worried a little bit by Azir. I hope he doesn't die. Yeah, I'm surprised that the enemy team was so keen to fight under a Zir tower. I don't know if they actually realized or not. I was hoping the turret would do a little bit more than what it did, though, to be fair. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. I think Azir should look for a, a reset. I think we have a really good Baron team. It's getting some random early setup for that. And I wanna Okay, hmm. I have to go this way. Okay, they took a fight bot and they lost it. Three enemies mid. Yeah, I was hesitant to pull the trigger to go in there. If I went in there to try and save him, I think I would have died. I wouldn't have had to take it out. Seraphine doesn't have ulti. Okay, Seraphine they flash. I'm dead. <coughs> Samira is getting a lot done there. Azir still has stuff. Okay, 
Uh, so Kaiser was spam pinging on the way to try and get me to engage. I mean, we did get the Seraphine flash, but Kane kind of like went in behind me so that my backline couldn't go in. It was decent game positioning. Nice try from GP, honestly. Hey Zali, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Berry Bush. Do we just want to go into this? Okay, that's huge. Aziz trying to cut off here too. And then he's just dead. I think we can do Baron. We would have needed to start it straight away, I think. At least we got an extra couple of kills. I was really worried about that Samira resetting like crazy there. That would have been devastating. Even with the Grievous Wounds nerf, I've already reduced 740. Another dragon up in 45 seconds. This cane's taking a huge amount of damage. We should just do the. Okay, never mind. We can probably do stuff. Okay, we might be able to end. Try and tank some of this turret. Try and keep. Hmm. Just wanted to keep that cannon minion alive. We should be fine to end still, though. GG. <laughs> well, we're maintaining 100% win rate with Rel at least, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, okay. If you had asked me, like, before I did the series, how what my win rate with Rel would be, I would have said zero, but, okay. Um, I... One of the Kaiser, sure. She didn't flame too much after the, or at all, after the, uh... The engage there. I'm, I'm still not 100% sure what went right wrong. I don't want to say, like... The Kaiser misplayed there, but it did feel like it because of like the item difference was pretty huge um, that she had over Samira. Um, she must have tanked a couple of skill shots that she shouldn't have, like from the Seraphine maybe. Um, maybe I pressed too early. Maybe it's my fault. I'm not. I'm really not 100% sure. It's something that I would have to look back on and then kind of evaluate what actually happened. Um, so yeah, 
I would, I, to be honest, I thought when I was going into that engage, thinking we'd win the fight. I would just set up the crowd control, Kaiser would get an easy kill, and then, yeah, then we'd move on, but they managed to turn it around. So, well played to, for them, and the Seraphine in particular, I guess, for, for being able to turn that around with the big item disadvantage that they had. Um, but apart from that, though, I think I played a decent rail game. Um, yeah, I tried to roam as much as I could. It's not easy with Rel, especially when you E and ally, it makes it super obvious. Like if you stand on the bush and E and ally, um, the laser <laughs> tells the enemy where you are exactly. So getting roams off as Rel is the hardest. Um, yeah, just the hardest. But hey, we won a game. Huge. And that puts us at 68 LP in plat 2. Can you look back and review? I can have a look at the fight. If that's what you mean. We can have a very quick look. I don't want to spend my time looking at my own VODs and stuff on stream that much though because I just want to make out the content. Yeah, Moon, yeah, it sucks, yeah. Where was it? It was... it was here. So going into this, oh, she did have the crit as well. So she did have, so if you look at the AD difference, I guess it's like you got 18 attack damage plus on Samira, but Ral, uh, but Kaiser has, what's that? Plus 55, a bit of attack speed, a bit of crit and boots as well. So I don't see why we shouldn't have won this fight. So let's engage in so that Kaiser can just ult in. I think she ulted directly on, th on top was probably the mistake from Kaiser. Yeah, I think going, like, Samira's like half HP as well. I think going in is fine. Let me just check the ult range on Kaiser at this point. <clears throat> Is there any way to kind of check the ult range? There isn't, is there? I want to see how the ult range on Kaiser. Yeah, I don't know if she was able to ult earlier or whatever. Because Seraphine also had no flash at this point, too. Yeah, Seraphine got the double root in on the Kaiser. Seraphine just outplayed it really, really hard on the Kaiser. She got double rooted. She's not even attacking at this point. She's having to run away from Samira stuff now. That heal came out super late as well. Mm. Yeah, Seraphine just outplayed it. Kaiser could have ulted better, to be honest. It's what it is. We won the game still.